Students, for diagnosis of neuromyelitis optica, we need at least one clinical core criteria to be satisfied along with the presence of IgG anti-aquaporin-4 autoantibodies. Now, what are the clinical core criteria? There are six of them. How you can remember them is, of course, neuromyelitis and optica. So, there must be some spinal cord and some optic nerve involvement. So, the myelitis here is longitudinally extensive transverse myelitis. That means involving at least three contiguous spinal cord segments. Along with that, optic neuritis typically tends to occur in a painless vision loss, bilateral involvement, which is typically going to affect the posterior aspect of the optic nerve more than half its length. And it will also lead to visual field defects and not respond well to therapy. That is the optic neuritis. The rest four clinical core criteria, you can remember them as A, B, C, D. A standing for area postrema lesions, typically seen as persistent hiccups, as well as nausea and vomiting. B standing for acute brain stem syndrome, which may be in the form of third nerve palsy as well as corticospinal tract lesions. C stands for acute cerebral syndrome, which could be in the form of seizures or encephalopathy. D is diencephalic syndrome, which may be in the form of either acute narcolepsy or even endocrinopathies due to involvement of the hypothalamus. So these are the clinical co-criterias for neuromyelitis optica.